Hey everyone, it's JR Cuber. This is going to be the tutorial on how to solve the axle cube. Now, before I scramble this up and teach you how to solve it, I want to go over the pieces real quick. So, on a normal Rubik's Cube, we have a center, four edges, and four corners, which makes up a side. So, on the axle cube, we have a center. This is a center piece, actually. You hold it kind of like that. You can see that. And so, these are edges, and these are corners. So now that, that I got that out of the way, I will scramble it up, and I will teach you how to solve it. Alright, now that it's all scrambled, we need to learn how to solve it. So the first thing that I do is I find which side I'm going to do it. And I usually do the red and white center to start with to build our cross on. Now I usually start with the white edge piece and so that needs to go right here uh, in between the white, the, the other center that has white on it. So we locate the white edge, it's right here, bring it down to the bottom layer and see we want to match it so it's flush with this other white center. You can see right now it's not flush and if we rotate it over here it's also not flush. So we need to rotate it up here the other way. And now we see that it's flush. And we can match it up with this center. So now uh, we have this edge piece done, which is the first edge piece in constructing our cross. Now let's do this one. And this one is actually already in place for it. We just need to twist the center. So the way we do that is we bring it to the bottom, we rotate it out of the way, and then we rotate the center. And now it's matched up, and we rotate it up to the top. Now that we have two edges that are one color, I know that the other two are going to have two colors. So this one is going to be the red and blue edge. So it's right here, but we need to match it up with the blue, uh, the right blue center. So that is in the correct spot, but it needs to be flipped. So what we actually do is we rotate it over here the same way that we did with that first edge. And now we can rotate, rotate it up. Now we have one piece left of our cross. And that piece is the white and blue edge. And it's right here. So we rotate it, we see that it's not matched up. And I can see right now that um, even if we, when we do match it up, it's going to be flipped. So let's rotate it over here. It's not matched up. Rotate it again. It's not matched up. Rotate it again. Now it is matched up. We can rotate it up to the top and bring back this other edge. Now we have constructed our cross, which is these pieces here. And also we have... Um, all of our centers twisted correctly. So now that we have done that, we want to do put in these corners. So it will build our top layer. So like on a Rubik's Cube, you would be putting in these four pieces here. And so we're going to put in these four pieces here. So we look at the bottom and we see that this blue piece that needs to go in here is right here and you want to put it underneath where it needs to go and then you do uh, the normal algorithm right inverted down inverted right down however many times you need to do it to get the corner up there so that one only took once now we go over here and we look for the the um, corner that goes here and it's right here and so you know you can use shortcuts if you know them to put corners in, it's it's pretty intuitive, it's not all that hard. I can see that's not going to be matched up. You can do it this way. That's not going to be matched up, so you do it the third way. Now it's matched up. So now we have one more. It's right here. And then you can do... Um, the right inverted down inverted right down to get it in place. So now we have one side done. 
and all of our, our, uh, we have pretty much have the first layer done. So it'd be like we'd have this, this layer done on a normal Rubik's Cube. So now we want to flip it over and we want to put in these edge pieces right here. So we look around and I can see that we need a yellow and red edge right here. So we look, we see there's no yellow and red edges right here. Let's look around, it's right here. So why don't we just put the edge in that's supposed to go here, which will pull this out and we can put it in there. The piece that needs to go here is right here. Now there's a little trick I know to which way you're supposed to position the edges, the edge to put it in. The, whatever the bottom color is, you want um, the color that's on the edge to be closest to that. So like the white, you want the white to be closest to the white. If it was over here, it would be farther away from the white. So we want it here so it's closest to the white. And we do the normal algorithm that puts this piece in here. It's the left algorithm. And it's U prime, L prime, U, L, U, F, U prime, F prime. And I put that piece in there. Now this piece here it is one of these one colored edge. And the way we, the, the trick that I know to put this piece in is, you see how there's two sides of this edge? This side is skinny and this side is long. Well, the side that's on the bottom, which is the skinny side, we want, or not the skinny, the short side, we want the short side to be closest to the short side here. And as you can see, it's the closest. If it was over here, it would be farther away. So now we put it here and we do the standard algorithm to put this piece in here. So now this one's done. Now let's go to this one. We see that we need a white, a yellow, and red. So it's right here. This was actually the piece we pulled out when putting in this one. So we can see that red is the bottom color, and so we need to put red closest to red. And then we can do the standard algorithm. Now let's say it's not let's say it's not the same algorithm. Like we've been always been doing it here. But what if it was over here, which is where this piece needs to go because the long side is here and the long side is here. It's closest to that spot. So what we want to do is uh, holding it from this position, not here. We do a different algorithm, and it is U R U prime R prime. U prime, F prime, U, F. And that solves the first two layers. So on a Rubik's Cube, you would have these two layers done. So now all that's left is the top layer.